Dr. Hausman currently serves as chairman of the board and chief science and technology officer of Intina Bioscience Incorporated. Previously, Dr. Hausman was a co-founder of Medco Research Incorporated, a New York Stock Exchange clinical research organization. He was recently appointed to the board of directors of Nugenerex Immuno-Oncology, a division of Nugenerex Biotechnology Corporation. Dr. Hausman has done residencies in general surgery at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York and in urological surgery at UCLA Medical Center. He received his medical degree from New York University School of Medicine. He is a noted pediatric kidney transplant surgeon. He developed the particular form of chondroitin 4 sulfate that is unique to the products of Summit Joint Performance. And now... Dr. Hausman, please tell us about chondroitin 4 sulfate. Because it's a it's a fascinating compound. It comes from a family called the mucopolysaccharides. As a urologist um, and a kidney surgeon, uh, mucopolysaccharides are the inner lining of the bladder. And they're also the key part of the kidney drainage tube. They, they line it so that it, the urine can flow very nicely and not react with the wall. I became fascinated with it and I developed it for several indications. And one of the ones I was looking at was uh, intraocular lens implants. It was a company called Allergan Pharmaceuticals, which is a, the biggest eye company in the world today. And what's unique about chondroitin sulfate is that it attracts water. And when it attracts water, it becomes a buffer. It can lubricate things, it lubricates parts of the body. And so when you do an eye transplant, you put an intraocular lens in, you want to lubricate the lens so it, 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 it heals better. And they were using a substance called hyaluronic acid, which absorbs too much water. And so we developed this with Allergan. And then a gentleman came to me and said, well, you know, if you uh, absorb water into this molecule, wouldn't it be important in joint disease? Because the buffering of the joint, when you have trauma and you have compression and you have shear stress, you need some water. Water is a buffer if you think about it. I mean, it'll, it'll stop the, the, the pressure and it'll expand and contract. Um, and so um, uh, he said, I have a friend down at Los Alamitos Racetrack. His name is Wayne McElroy who now is probably one of the top arthroscopists in the world for horses. Yep. And he says he comes in every Tuesday or sometimes Thursday when I could get him. And he uh, does arthroscopic surgery on, on the, uh, the race horses at Los Alamitos. And he introduced me to him. So when Wayne would come in, I'd bring the chondroitin sulfate, which was the same product we were doing for eye research. And he would inject it into the joint uh, at the conclusion of the arthroscopic surgery. And this started our whole uh, research program into joint disease. Wayne and I continued it for a couple of years. And then I moved on with Allergan. Um, then and other eye companies are using chondroitin sulfate and they're mixing it in with hyaluronic acid and it's injected into the eye um, during and after surgery. What's very interesting is one of the highest concentrations of chondroitin sulfate is in the anterior chamber of the human eye. And we still don't know why in life it was placed there, but the next highest concentration is in cartilage and especially the windpipe of cattle, the trachea where they breathe. And the purest form in the world is in the trachea. And of course that's where we manufacture chondroitin sulfate from, and that's what's in the Summit product. It's probably the purest form of chondroitin sulfate in the world. And what's also key about eye research is that you cannot use any solvents like ethanol, methanol, alcohol um, in eye surgery because it, the eye just reacts terribly. So we had to distill when we manufactured the form that's being used today we distilled off any form of methanol, ethanol, or any solvent. So it really is the highest, the kind of pure form of chondroitin-4-sulfate. 
What does chondroitin 4 sulfate do for the joint compared to glucosamine? Well, I don't want to get too scientific, but right now, this is the love of my life, what you're seeing on this slide, besides my wife. Um, anyway, um, when I talk to you now, you're hearing my language as a human being. What we now found that there's a language inside the body, that your cells are talking to themselves. And that's your, it's not your DNA, which are your chromosomes, it's RNA. It's the, it's the small parts of the DNA that go to form the proteins and the language of the body. So what you see on this slide before you is osteoarthritis. And that's the one thing that we were very focused on, arthritis. Uh, for horses, for humans, and it's a silent disorder. By the time you have an x-ray, or by the time you have symptoms, or you can't walk, or you have pain, it's, it's way beyond the silent form. But early on, something's happening, and you have to pick up the language that's in the joint. And you have stem cells. If you see before you, chondrocyte is a stem cell that produces collagen and produces the structure of the joint and the bone. Synoviocyte is a stem cell that produces the lining of the joint, the synovial membrane. And you could see inside the language, interleukin-1, TNF-alpha, NF-kappa-B, those are inflammatory molecules. When they're produced in small amounts, they're natural as part of the healing process. It's when they're produced in large amounts that becomes chronic. And that's where chondroitin sulfate comes in. We have shown that chondroitin sulfate has the ability, chondroitin 4 sulfate, has the ability to neutralize TNF alpha, neutralize NF kappa B. And so you're now intercepting that language that's causing inflammation in that joint. And theoretically, the earlier you use it, the better you are, it's protective. And we have a, a statement in medicine, prevention, not intervention. Much better to prevent. And I think it's like eating broccoli or eating your nutrients. Chondroitin 4 sulfate is a natural product in nature and it's part of the nutrient process of joint formation. How does chondroitin 4 sulfate work on an affected joint? This is to me the most amazing thing that I've discovered and found. This is not my slide. It was in an article, peer reviewed journal. This chondroitin sulfate, I call it a bottle brush. It's a shock absorber. It, 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 when you think of a horse or a human jumping up and down, can you imagine the pressure that's going on in the joint? And you could see how these fibrils could compress and expand, compress and expand. And, and you could see the structure, uh, which is HA, that's called hyaluronic acid, which we mentioned earlier. But the key part of that joint is chondroitin 4 sulfate. And when you look under an electron microscope at these fibrils, you will see only chondroitin 4 sulfate. So when you use chondroitin 4 sulfate, you're actually using what nature put into that joint to create the joint and to keep it healthy. And I think in one of the others, Heather did an experiment uh, where we actually uh, injected it intramuscularly, not into the joint. And those, the, the tube on the left is joint fluid that's been taken from an arthritic joint and then 100 milligrams of chondroitin sulfate was injected intramuscularly. 72 hours later, look at the fluid on in the right tube. If you were to take the fluid in the right tube and put it between your fingers, you could feel the viscosity, the elasticity, and the shock absorbing capacity of that fluid. You could prove it to yourself. If you take the fluid on the left, which has a little bit of blood tinge in it, and you were to rub it between your fingers, there's no viscosity, there's no stickiness, there's no compression. And that is in only after 72 hours post-injection. To me, 
I've never seen anything like this. Can there be negative side effects from injecting Summit's chondroitin for sulfate? No, no, no. I mean, well, because it's a natural building block of you, of your joint, natural building block of, it's in blood vessels. I mean, it, nature put it there. So there are no side effects. It's like eating broccoli. I mean, what are the side effects of eating broccoli? You're eating a nutritional compound that's in nature. Chondroitin sulfate is nature. And so there are no side effects that I know about. Can long-term use of Summit's chondroitin for sulfate cause negative side effects on the liver or the kidneys? The, the glucosamine, those articles that I'm familiar with involve glucosamine. And when they, remember, glucosamine is gamish. It's, it's the whole group of compounds that are isolated from cartilage, isolated from, from the windpipe. It's not cleaned up. And so I think that those articles that are talking about side effects are talking about not, they're talking about glucosamine, which is not pure chondroitin sulfate. And when they talk about liver disease, this is people who already have liver disease. In my knowledge and in my reading of the literature, there is no negative to using chondroitin sulfate with respect to kidney function and liver function. Thank you, Dr. Hausman.